Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. I am finally back. This is my first video in my new space. I'm playing in new makeup. So y'all know this video was very chatty because I'm talking about the products. I'm giving you updates on my life. And I probably rambled a little bit just because I'm a little rusty, not filming in a while. Before we get into the video, if you're new, I hope you decide to join the family by hitting that subscribe button and turning on your notification bell. So you know every time I upload, I do lots of makeup, lots of hauls, your girl likes to shop. I do tutorials, I do hair, nails, all of it. So everything related to beauty is on this channel. I won't keep you waiting. Got my little box right here of the products I'm going to be using. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So this is my first video in my new space. Y'all are gonna see some old videos in the old space worked in cause it's good footage and I still wanna post those videos. But I finally got settled enough to where I feel like I can sit down, kinda do a chatty get ready with me and give y'all some updates and play in some new makeup. So this might be long, but hopefully y'all enjoy it. I'm gonna start off priming my face and I have a primer I've had for a while but I don't remember using definitely not on camera this is the Lancome Le Base Pro perfecting makeup primer this is one of those kind of silicone-y fill in your pores make everything glide on really easy primers I don't wear these a lot because I tend to stick with more mattifying products especially now with it being summer but since we are Getting into fall and things are cooling off. I feel like I can get away with this if it's not a gym day and I need my makeup to stay on. So I'm gonna put that on first and then I'm gonna tell y'all about some of the products that I'm using today because I did get some stuff sent to me and you are going to see it as a first impression. So I have no idea what it's gonna look like. This is from the brand I'm not sure if I'm saying this right. It's either Kymuse or Camuse. Um, this is a brand that is on Amazon and they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try a few of their products. So I figured this would be the best way to show it. They have a glowy dewy liquid contour. So we have that. Then we also have a liquid cheek blush. Then we also have a lightning glow baked blush. And then we have a glow dewy liquid highlighter so these are complexion products that i'm going to show y'all as i'm doing my face i'm also going to be using the natasha denona i need a nude palette because i just want to play in her and make sure that the colors can work for my skin tone because i've seen reviews but i haven't seen a lot of reviews on darker skin tones so y'all have probably seen this this is nothing new but it's my first time using it. So we're gonna have that today. So we're gonna start with the face. I'm gonna do my foundation. This is also new to me. This is also by Lancome. This is the Tint Edol Ultra Wear Care and Glow. Now I have tried the long wear one a long time ago in the past. I probably, I could replace it, but I have enough foundations. This one is in the shade, what do we have? 445 in. So this is what it looks like. This might be a little dark, but y'all know how we do. So we're gonna make it work. So we're gonna start off with a pump. We're gonna start off with two pumps. And of course we know my problem areas need it. So anyway, I'm not gonna talk, talk, talk too much about the makeup. I know y'all wanna know what's been going on. I think it's been two months since I filmed. And originally the plan was to film up until like three weeks before I got ready to move, but I got so overwhelmed and I was just like, I cannot. So we're going to pack this makeup up and we're just gonna try again later because buying the house, the process was fairly, it wasn't easy. There was a lot behind that too, but the sellers needed to stay in the house for 60 days after we sold it because I guess they needed the money to move. They didn't have a place yet. I have no idea. 
They also had young kids and we finalized the paperwork. We closed Memorial Day weekend, so the end of May. So they got to stay into the, in the house until the end of July. But in between that time, I'm packing, I'm trying to get contractors lined up because we knew we wanted to do some renovations. And it wasn't like big renovations. It was just redo the floors because they had like that old school yellow, orange, oak, skinny plank wood floor. And I don't even know if it was real wood, but it was just, I had an idea for the color story that I wanted for the house. And that was not it. So picked out paint, picked out flooring, and was literally just trying to get somebody to come in, measure, so we could order the stuff if anything was on back order. People are very flaky. I don't know if it's just out here. I don't remember it being like that in Texas, but I also used a guy in Texas that I had a referral and I know he did get work. But just like using Thumbtack out here and trying to find people, it was a whole mess. So the contractor we ended up going with was a nightmare. Started off okay, and I say that loosely because the very first day they were in here on a Saturday, that Sunday I came in, they weren't working, my toilet was clogged and did not flush the remnants of what they left behind. Um, I guess they couldn't, but didn't even try to clean it. So I walk into the bathroom and you see a toilet full of shit, literally. Um, so that pissed me off. And then he also like took stuff, like steel took stuff. Um, we had moved everything into the garage for them to paint. And I don't know, for whatever reason, he thought anything moved into the garage was free for him to take without asking. So moved a TV out there. He took that like a huge 70 inch TV. He took it and said, I thought you said I could have it. I'm not making this up. I don't understand. He was, he is Hispanic. So I tried to give him benefit of the doubt. Like maybe there was a language barrier. But there was other stuff I found out he took later, so I don't think it was. Um, just real quick on this foundation, I do feel like it's about a medium. I don't know that I feel like I want to build it up to full coverage at this point. But I like the finish of this, and I do feel like my face looks smooth. Yeah, so dealing with all that was kind of a nightmare. He was only in here for a couple weeks, but like... Every day I had to come by after they were done because I asked them, please make sure you turn the lights off. You know, we're not staying in the house right now, so we don't want the lights just on. Every day almost I came in and there was a light left on or there was the air conditioner left on 70 and nobody was here. And I'm paying rent and mortgage and utilities for two places. And I was just like, I can't deal. Y'all need to hurry up and get out. Concealer, I don't know if I've used this before or not, but this is the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer in the shade NY12. I still hear people talking about this and saying how good it is, and I just haven't used it. I don't know if I've used, I might have used it once, but I don't remember, so it's time. Um, and I'm going to use this for my primer too. But yeah, I just, it was, by the time it was all said and done, like his work started getting really sloppy. And I went through the house and like, you know, you deal with painters, you mark places that need to be touched up, went over the places with him and told him and he was like, yeah, no problem. I'll get it fixed. He rushed through that. And when I came back and saw what was still done and sent him pictures and was like, dude, this is what you call professional work. And I was like, you think this is OK? You think this is OK that you left this this way? Like, what about this? What about this? He was like, you know what? Take the rest of the money that you owe me because we paid him almost like. 90 percent 85 90 percent of what he was owed and he was like just take what you owe me and find somebody else to finish it i'm not doing it and i was just like you know what i'm not even mad because i wasn't gonna pay you anyway but the fact that you did that like that just goes to show that i was right about the stuff in the beginning probably not being a communication error because of language barrier you were just doing some really bad shit so yeah, it kind of sucked because he was a referral from a friend at the gym. And when I went back and told her all that, she was like, I'm upset that y'all even paid him as much as you did. He's never done shoddy work like that for us. I'm not even going to use him anymore. And she was using him for personal stuff for her house. So 
I was like, yeah, I wasn't going to say anything, but the more I find stuff that's wrong since I've been in the house that he didn't fix that he said he would, I was like, I just want to let you know in case you decide to recommend him to somebody else because I don't know what's the difference between the work that he did with you before and what he's doing now, but this is not it. So we still have some stuff, even though, sponge, um, even though we paid him to do the work and I feel like we paid him more than enough what we paid. Um, we're going to have to get some other stuff done later. I'm just glad he showed his true colors because I was also going to get him to paint the kitchen cabinets because I want them a different color to match the color story that I'm going with. And he probably would have messed that up like bad, bad. So thank you for running out of time and just for him, I guess, kind of acting like he also really didn't want to do it. This concealer is blending out really, really nice. And I feel like I need to bring this in my bathroom to start using more regularly because I like the finish of this. So to set my face, I'm going to use a new powder that I have. This is the Natasha, Natasha, no ma'am, Danessa Myricks Evolution Powder in the shade Yellow. I feel like this brightens me up pretty well. And I thought the foundation was going to be darker, but I think that's a really good match. So I mean, I need too much of this powder, but she is like super yellow. I hope y'all can see that. Um, this is my first time filming. So if the color looks a little off, I'm doing a combination of natural light and my softbox lights right now just to see how that's gonna look. I always set up in front of a mirror whenever I start a new space because I want to have the option if I ever just wanna do natural light. I'm not sure based on how this room is set up if this is ever gonna be enough to just do natural light because it is four o'clock right now here, almost five. And I feel like, I don't know that it would make a difference earlier in the day. But yeah, so for the most part, I mean, I was able to see my vision come to life. Changed out all the light fixtures, changed out the color of the light bulbs. I always love doing like super bright daylight lights. I rarely ever turn the lights on in the house. I am a literal vampire. I'm trying to keep my utility bill low so I can spend my money on makeup. Like, <laughs> let's just be real. I am cheap when it comes to household utility stuff. I don't want to spend a lot of money on that because I'd rather spend it somewhere else. So I'm just trying to make sure this is all smooth before we move on to the other stuff and I'm moving my face around and we get creasing. But yeah, so got moved in. Moving went pretty well. This is probably one of the best moves that I had in terms of the people doing what they needed to do. Um, it still cost a pretty penny. And I'm telling y'all right now, I'm going to have to be like, I don't know what it's going to take, but it's going to be something major to get me to leave this house because I'm tired of moving. In the last 10 years, I think I counted, I've moved over five times for sure. I want to say like eight times, seven times, something like that. Ridiculous. Um, so it is time to be settled and I love the area that I'm in. I am in Mableton, Georgia, which is like maybe 30 minutes from downtown Atlanta, but I feel like it's like right in the middle of everything so I can go into the city if I want to, but I don't have to and listen, I don't want to. We're gonna move to the liquid products real quick. So we're gonna jump into this, I hate that I'm saying this wrong, Chimuse, Chimuse, I don't know. This is the glowy, Glow Dewy Liquid Contour. This is in the shade Terracotta. Now this is available on Amazon and I will put links below for you guys if you wanna check it out. I just wanted to make sure I had the information right. I pulled this up on Amazon. I do believe, uh, this might be the darkest shade actually. They have Terracotta and then Truffle which look similar. But Terracotta, these run for $9.99. And right now there's even a 20% off coupon. Plus I have a code. It's 10 Chimuse for you guys. It is not an affiliate code. I'm not making any money. It's just something for you to save money. But this is a vegan cruelty free brand. And it says it has a buildable and nourishing formula. 
that has a natural finish. So let's see how we can get this to work. It also says that it's waterproof and long wearing. So we definitely like that. Yeah, terracotta is the deepest shade. So let's see if we can get this to show on my skin. Because at first I was like, y'all, this, this is not dark enough when they sent it. And I had asked for, yeah, I don't think this is dark enough for me. Um, I had asked them to send multiple shades, including the lighter ones, just so that I could show you the difference in the shade range that they have. Like, I feel like I could contour my nose with this, but so I'll take a little bit on this blush brush. I'm trying to see. I don't feel like... I can't tell if that's adding any color yet. It looks kind of dark. I'm just like putting this on the side of my brush like this to see. I do see it. Okay, I'm seeing it on my nose. Yeah, that's what I said. Like this feels felt like it would be a perfect shade for my nose contour. I'm just not sure based on how dark I wear my f contour for my cheeks that this is going to be dark enough. And I'm just going to stamp to try to keep it. You can see it. I think I'm just used to having something a little bit darker and this is a cooler tone. So it's not coming off super red. You can definitely see a glow from it. I feel like because of the shade of this, it's almost like it would be really hard to mess this up because it's so light. But let's see if it's buildable. So on my forehead, on my five head. I can't tell if this is picking up my makeup underneath. Let me go ahead and swatch it for you guys. So this is what it looks like right there. So just from there, it's showing some color. I just feel like I can't really tell if it's adding warmth or is it just contouring or what it's doing. What do y'all think? I think with the trend right now with the It Girl, Clean Girl makeup, like this would be really good if you were doing a lighter coverage and you just wanted like a little kiss of color with a nice glow but my biggest concern with this was if it was going to have a dark enough shade for me and i feel like for my contour preferences i definitely see a glow but i don't feel like it depends on how i turn my head looking in my viewfinder i'm gonna have to see when i edit it <laughs> um but just from doing that i Every now and then I see it though, and I'm like, okay, this is cute for a natural, hmm. Okay, let's just keep going with it. We're gonna go ahead and try the liquid blush, and then I'm gonna go over the liquid blush with the glowy baked blush that they have. So the, br the blush I have is in the shade number five. It's supposed to be Believe, but it's spelled B-E-I-L-I-V-E. -E. This is just the blush because they also have a lip stain duo, but this is their soft cream blush. And these are also $9.99. And it says long wearing, smudge proof, natural looking, dewy finish. So let's see. This is what the component looks like. And then that is the shade there. I think I want to keep the same brush. Ooh, that's a pretty pink. It's kind of giving me the pink vibes from the hot pink Barbie trend everybody's on, but this isn't as much of a blue undertone as those. So this is just my Sephora dual ended brush that I use for blush and contour. Oh, now that shade is pretty. And that is definitely blending in very easy, but you can tell it is keeping its color. I hate when I put liquid blushes on and then they just disappear. Oh yeah, I like that. If you like liquid blushes, but you feel like some other ones are kind of scary because they're overly pigmented, you put it in and then you got to work real fast. I think you would really like these because you saw 
I put it on, it blended nicely. You see the color, but I have a glow. I like this one. Let's look at the highlighter. This is the Glow Dewy Liquid Highlighter in 02 Moonlight. I want to say this is the same shade, same price. Yes, $9.99 as well. Oh, hold on, she's white. This is not the lighting playing tricks. This is the color. So let's see. Uh oh. Mm. Moonlight is super light. That's iridescent. Let me blend this out. I need another brush for this. Oh, that's interesting. You see how pink that is? Oh. Okay, um, highlighter brush. Let's just put it on my face. Ooh. Okay, let's see how she blends out. But yeah, so oh, that is pink. That is super pink. Do I like this? Like from the front, you don't see anything, right? I feel like you don't see anything. And then you turn. Huh. This makes me want to get one of the other. Oops. Well, putting it directly on my face messes up the doe foot. And this is like a little triangle applicator, but touching my face you're going to get it transferred on here. So if you care about that, be aware of that. But I feel like that shows up pinker than the blush did. But it's blending so pretty, though. I definitely feel like with a different color, this would really give me like that lit from within glow i don't love this color i don't know that i love this shade but i like the formula of this i'm gonna go back with some more blush and just try to help that blend in a little more but yeah so that is where things are right now it took me about two weeks to unpack the whole house and get everything situated i literally cannot function in boxes i can't live out of a box i don't want to have to keep looking for stuff so office got set up first because i did not take any time off of work that is so pretty i like it better with the blush over it um but yeah office got set up first then the kitchen and then kind of started moving around and doing everything else i am not done with like decorating and all that stuff i'm not really good at that stuff i see something i like and i will pick out just that instead of like getting a variation in pieces so i feel like i'm still trying to kind of figure out where i want things and how i want them but tell me what y'all think about this they do have different shades if you like more like a champagne they have that they have one called nature shine which is more of a pink. And then they have like a rose gold under the sun. So they have different ones, but like I said, this is what they sent. I didn't get to choose. I'm not mad at this, especially cause you don't see it from the front. I'm gonna go in, well, let's go ahead and set our blush. So the blush that we have is Apricot Berry and this is their Lightning Glow Baked Blush see how much these are these are also ten dollars so this is really affordable and do they have the coupon for this too yeah i don't know how long let me see how long this is gonna last does it say when it dis? no it just says 20 percent off with this coupon but it doesn't say how long it lasts hopefully i can get this video up in time enough that y'all can take advantage of that so this is what it looks like kind of similar to another brand we've seen with baked blushes and then this is the shade here you can see it kind of has that marble pattern in it so i think it's going to match well with the colors that we have i'm going to wipe off the other brush that i had that should be dry by now and i'm just going to go in with that one 
I feel like all this stuff is like super glowy. Is this doing anything? <laughs> These cheeks gonna be so glowy. Okay, let me swatch her because I think I can see that on my cheeks, but we also have a lot of product. Ooh, that is nice. I hope y'all can see that color. It is very light. It actually looks a lot more terracotta. It says apricot, so peachy. I definitely think that's an appropriate name for the shade. So that is all the products I have from the brand. I am not going to lie. If I was shopping for this stuff and I was on Amazon looking, I would try it because it's very affordable. And with the 20% off they're having right now, that's $2 off of all these products or $10. So if it lasts the way it says with it being long wearing, waterproof, smudge proof, all that, I feel like this could be perfect it girl makeup that you want to last long that still looks like skin because I do feel like this looks like my skin. I don't feel like I look very made up right now. So there will be a link in the description box with everything included. Thank you Kai Muse Beauty for sending me these products. I really am kind of interested to try some of the other shades. Like I said, that's the darkest in the contour shade. So if you're light darker than me, go ahead and pass because it's not going to work. But the blush, the highlighter, for sure, I want to try some different colors in those. So probably going to pick that up. I'm going to go ahead and set my contour with bronzer. Also just want to deepen it up a little bit to kind of chisel these cheekbones some more. I'm going to use the Clarity Cosmetics Cashmere Pressed Bronzer. I know I showed this in a haul video but I don't think I ever wore it on camera so I'm gonna just show y'all right now this baby the pigment you have to be careful the first time I wore this I almost messed up my face because this is dark it is very smooth but it is like a lot comes up on your brush whenever you're using it so you just have to barely tap like I'm barely tapping and it, there's kick up on the pan I probably should like yeah, pat that off a little bit. Let's start on the forehead. And just add a little more warmth. I just dipped my brush in this on the side. Just to kind of give a little more towards the back of my face so you can see it there. But yeah, like I was saying, it's gonna take an act of Congress to get me to move again because your girl is tired and I didn't love the only thing that <laughs> it's still gonna be a while but the only thing that could even get me to think about moving number one has to have a spot dedicated for my beauty room and the fact that I am now this house upstairs reminds me a lot of my first house in Texas my beauty room was attached to my bedroom so I could come in here sit and get ready while I was getting dressed the house that I had here first in Georgia Beauty room was downstairs because they had too much trouble moving my Ikea shelves upstairs. And then my bedroom was upstairs. So office and bedroom upstairs, beauty room downstairs. I like this layout way better. I don't think I have a new brow product. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows real quick. And then I'm going to come back and we'll get into the eyeshadow palette. All right, so let's jump into this palette. Now, I saw this palette and I was like, do you need this? Probably not. But I am a Natasha Denona stan. I have a hair tickling my face. And so kind of wasn't even a question whether or not I was going to get it. I am also an affiliate with Natasha Denona. Excited about that. So I'm going to put a code somewhere here. I think it's Barbell Barbie 15 is what I set up. I don't remember. I'm a bad YouTuber, but this is what the palette looks like. And I feel like it's kind of given Huda Beauty's quartz one I don't remember the name of it without all the light pastel -y shades like the blue and whatever I felt like that was super icy this does look really light so we're gonna go ahead and do some swatches real quick I'm gonna start off with the first row so I hope you guys can see those on my finger there very light shades let's do this here 
So this is stone. Let's see if I can build that up, but you get the gist. Then this is Whisper, super pretty shade. Then Ella, also gorgeous. That's like my everyday lid shade. Then that's a matte called Vague. This would be in my crease all the time. And then this is Travertine, also a very pretty cool tone, taupey bronzy shade. So far, not bad. That first one, of course, I feel like with a lot of her mattes, whenever you swatch them, like they look the shade they're supposed to, but when you blend them out, they get darker. I don't know if you guys have noticed that before, but I have with, especially with the Yucca palette, Yucca, whatever. Anyway, that palette, which I also loved. So we're going to go into the next row. The other thing about this palette is there are also supposed to be some new formulas in here which I guess I could pull it up and do the research but I did not <laughs> so this is Delilah oh that is another pretty very shiny foily shade another kind of taupey shade but lighter with more texture to it then silhouette this is the darkest shade in the pan So that builds up pretty deep. Then we have Muse, which is looking kind of like a duochrome. Not sure it's showing that much on my hand though, on my arm. And then we have Fair, which would be a really good lid shade if you wanted to do an all matte soft glam. And then we have Filigree, that is also a very thick, I don't know, I feel like it has a lot of body to it, but that is that shade there. So that's the first two rows we're going to get on the other hand. So this is Wit, which I said was not going to show up much. Still pretty though. Probably can't really see that. Then we have Sheen. That is so pretty. If you just want like a light wash of glow on your lid, I think that would be gorgeous. Then we have Tender. That's actually darker than I thought it was going to be. This is one of those shades I was talking about that ends up looking darker when you blend it out. And then we have Mesh, which is also another light shade. I'm just wondering how these would look on the lid, like if you were trying to do a soft glam all matte look. And then this last one is Mia. Another super shiny shimmery shade. So those are our shades there. So I don't know, I feel like I could get some decent payoff. The lighter shades, I would probably have to do a cut crease and then pat them on. I don't think they would swatch on my lid very well but I don't feel like, which I don't even know where my glam palette is right now. Let me get it. I just want to see comparing the glam to this. I do feel like they are different enough. And I love this size palette from her. She can never do another big pan, the $130 ones, and I would be happy. So that's the difference. I do kind of feel like looking at these two side by side, it's almost like this is a deeper version and this is a lighter version. It's still cool and neutrals on both of them, but it looks like this was made for fair skin. This was made for deeper skin. I don't know if that was the intent behind it. That is my interpretation of it, kind of like she did her face palettes. So maybe, I don't know. But we're going to do a super quick easy look since I went ahead and showed you guys the swatches we're going to start with vague this shade right here and I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush and see if that does oh yeah I see some payoff I see a little bit let me build this up yeah see this is doing what I said her mats do it's getting deeper and it's almost like it has a cool undertone that's giving it that ability to kind of give you that shadow. 
This is a gorgeous everyday shade for me. I would so wear that just by itself. But to finish my story, um, I do plan on showing you guys a house tour. Now, <laughs> I am not a like decoration, watch my makeover kind of thought process person because I was just ready to get everything done. So a lot of stuff is already done. The only thing I haven't unpacked for my makeup is my eyeshadows and I'm going to do that on camera because I also plan on trying to do some decluttering which we know I ain't going to get rid of much. But I do want to show you the organization. I am planning, we'll see how it goes, to try to organize alphabetical order by brand. At one point I thought about doing by color, but I would like to have all my brands together in the same place minus the brands, if any, that I pull out that I just want to show like all my Pat McGrath together in the drawer with the open glass face and stuff like that. So I'm going to do that. I may rearrange it later, but I do want to go ahead and get that stuff put away. But I wanted to share with you guys how I organize it for my lid shade. I kind of want to do two looks, but I also want to film another video after this. So let's go in. I'm going to do the darkest shade. So we're going to go in with Silhouette. So we're just going to take that and deepen up this outer V a little bit. But I also filmed a little bit of unpacking the boxes initially. When I packed my boxes, I literally just took the inserts that had my makeup sorted and put them in boxes so I didn't have to like pull stuff out and figure out where it goes I opened the box I pulled out the big insert stuck it in the drawer back where it goes so that made unpacking a lot of this stuff really easy see this is so pretty I would wear this just by itself as a quick little look if I was just trying to do something quick and get out the door but this is the same Natasha Denona quality that I have come to love. So no complaints there. I guess the question is just if you're my complexion or deeper, do you feel like this offers enough variation to make it worth it? Because again, looking at this, it is very much so giving me that I can't remember the name of it. Whatever Huda Beauty palette that was that I ended up bringing back to the store because I was like, this is not enough. This is just not worth me keeping it. Now, is it worth me to keep this one because it's Natasha Denona? Probably because I like the brand and I have a lot of her palettes. So I don't know. Let's do matte. I feel like I haven't done a matte look in a while. So do we want to do stone or do we want to do fair? Or let's see mesh. I think this is mesh. Let's try that one. I'm going to try that one on the center part here and see. Oh yeah, that shows up. That shows up really well. I haven't done an all matte look in a minute. So yeah, and it is buildable. So that is good. I feel like there was one other palette I tried that did not have a light enough shade for me to use as a lid shade if I wanted to just do an all matte look and I didn't realize how much that would throw me off. So let's go in with fair now. I'm going to use the other side of my brush and see how much lighter. Definitely lighter. Like light enough to almost cut my crease. Oh yeah. I love that shade too. If you love all matte looks this palette has quite a few of them. And then I'm going to go in with Tender, which was the lighter shade here, and see if I can kind of put that to help blend. Well, this got cool toned quick. It's almost a tad bit too light. 
it's too dark to wear just on the lid by itself, but too light, I think, to deepen. It's definitely helping to blend this transition shade. So, I don't know. These colors look really good together, but I want a little more dark here. And that's just my preference. So, the collector in me that loves eyeshadow palettes is happy that I have this. The practical person in me who, if I did not literally budget to be able to buy makeup every month, if I felt like I only have one palette I can buy this month, would it be this one for my skin tone? No, based on what I have in my collection, it would not be because, I don't know. I don't feel like I need to have it, especially since I have the glam one. But I'm also happy that I have it because I will still use it. So I hope that makes sense. Like darker skin tones, do you need this one? I would get the Glam palette instead. But if you are somebody who loves makeup and you like having a nice collection and you want a compliment to that palette, I think this was a great one too. So that is my stance on that. Happy to have it. I'm keeping it. I'm going to go ahead and do my liner. Do I have a liner? Oh, yeah. We're going to play with some color. I picked up one of Danessa Myrick's Infinite Chrome Micro Pencils. This one is in the shade Amethyst. We're going to go ahead and just play a little bit today. And I'm going to put this my line in my lid. What are we doing? This is what it looks like. I'm going to do this on my bottom lash line because it has a little bit of purple i hope y'all can see that i don't feel like y'all can really see what that just did to my eyes but i definitely see the purple i don't know that i feel like i'm seeing a lot of multi-chrome but I definitely see the purple in it. And I feel like because of the lid shade, cool toned, a little bit of pink in there, it's good. I'm gonna do black liner. I'm gonna put my lashes on. I'm not trying a new pair. I'm just using this Sephora pair that I love in, it says Swanky. And they say this is one of their dramatic pairs. I'm just going to pop these on real quick and then we'll come back and get into the lips. I just love when my lashes decide to cooperate. I use this Velour Lash and, Glow, Lash and Go 3-in-1 liner. It's a magnetic liner, a regular liner, or you can use it for a false lash liner. I feel like this is dried out already. It's tiny, so maybe there's not a lot of liquid in here to use it more than once, but I have a backup. So I'm just showing y'all a couple things I'm decluttering right now. I tried to use this mascara. I don't know how long I've had it open, but it is dried out. This is the It Superhero. So this is also going in the trash right now. And then this, I'm actually almost done with it, but I feel like I think it's gone bad because when I put it on, I feel like my under eyes and my lids are burning. It goes away, but initially when I put it on, I don't like that feeling. And I have way too many concealers, so I may buy this one again because I really did like it. And there's still a little bit left in here. I feel bad throwing it away because there's some left, but y'all, I really think that's why I had this little bump here on my face. So in the trash right now. To finish, I was going to line my waterline with this light color, but I don't feel like I need it. For lips, I have this Morphe Soulmate Filling Gel Lip Liner. This is a brown, and it looks like it's a little on the cool tone side, which will be great for this look. It is retractable. Thank you, baby Jesus. And then here's the shade right here. So, ooh, that's a pretty brown. It's not too dark. Uh, she's looking a little more red than brown. I feel like this is almost more of the shade I would use for like every day if I didn't have a lot of makeup on. But I probably need to go a little darker. 
Let's see what we have. I have two Clarity Cosmetics lip products. I have the Liquid Lipstick in the shade Praline, and then I have their Butter Pecan Lip Gloss. So this is the lip gloss, and then this is the lipstick. You can see that the gloss is a little lighter and more of a nude, kind of pinky nude. So we'll do a little bit of both just to see. Oh, that Liquid Lipstick. Yeah, we don't want this red. I'm going to just blend that in just because I already started it, but this is not matching our look. <laughs> Go ahead and swatch it just so y'all can see the color. That's more of like my everyday nude shade. She's going in my purse as a matter of fact, but definitely not for this. You know what? I'm going to line my lips darker. This is my Pat McGrath. Maybe it's something ground. What's the name of it? Ground control. Just try to get this a little darker. So when we put our nude gloss, we will not look washed out. And then this is the gloss here. So she is very opaque. This is still, that lipstick did it in. Ah. My lips are too red. I think it's too red for the look that we have. <laughs> for the look that we have going on. But who do I have up here? Let me see. Let's try this praline. Yeah, that's a little better. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then I'm going to go back around the edges and fill in a little bit with my Pat McGrath. Girl, if you don't quit overlining these lips like you ain't got some soup coolers already. All right, that's where we're going to stop with the lips. Unless I find something else. I literally would put concealer on this to help give it more of a nude, nude not pink shade. But we're going to stop right there. Do I have anything else to use? My face is done. And I think I look good. I like this foundation because it's not shiny and I didn't really set, like I didn't set any of this and it doesn't look shiny. This blush is blushing. Again, highlighter shade, I would definitely pick another shade, but I look like I'm glowing from within. Lit from within, glam, filming again, super excited. So this is it for the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this chatty, get ready with me. Comment, let me know if you like this video. If you want more videos, like it because I can do that. And that will give me a chance to just use makeup and not feel like I'm having to do a tutorial telling y'all how to do everything. Um, again, thank you Kai Muse Beauty for sending me the products. I will have the description box full of all the details. Kai Muse 10 is the code if you want to order yourself. Definitely think it's worth it. Very affordable brand. And I feel like this has dried down and it is not transferring. So should be long wearing, waterproof, all the stuff that they say. Thank you for sticking with me to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family by hitting that subscribe button. I'm so glad to be back. I missed you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.